This thing on? This thing on? All right, I think it's on. This is your main man, Cletus, with audio plug-in deals. Today we're checking out the Whiskey Series Mountain Dulcimer, and it is legit, as a matter of fact. All right, hey guys, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. We're looking at the Whiskey Series Appalachian Mountain Dulcimer by Embertone. I absolutely love this instrument and this company. Um, they put so much personality and realism and character into their samples and everything they do. And this was an incredible amount of fun. I absolutely love these Roots Appalachian type sounds. But you can also make it do sort of a more country sound let's check that out this is a full mix with the rest of the band just to see what this sounds like in context <laughs> you know it's 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 amazing um so a dulcimer there are different types of dulcimers. Um, when I first saw this instrument, I kind of thought of like a cymbalom or a nickel harpo, which is a more, you know, European sound, which is totally different. So this dulcimer is a bit more like a guitar, but it's a lot more bright and you instantly get that Appalachian bluegrass feeling to it. So... You know, it's slightly guitar-like, obviously, because it's a stringed instrument. It only has three strings, um, and it has a, a beautiful, bright, resonant sound. See how long that, that just rings out. There's no external reverb on here whatsoever. Um, really, really good quality. You can hear the um, sliding on the strings and whatnot. So this one right here is just a groove. So here's the GUI. That has the strummer function enabled. And there are different grooves um, built in you can scroll through those here they are and then you can make your own here with the step sequencer which can go with velocity you can adjust the amount of steps the rate which it plays here it's 16th notes uh, the pitch every everything you could possibly want in a step sequencer so this instrument here is just one groove layer and you can adjust the key down here So here in the GUI, these red keys right here, I'll adjust the key. This is... That's where you actually play the instrument. So that is string selection auto, strum um, direction auto manual, whether you're strumming up or down on the strings. There's a lot of custom customization here. And then this, um, all right, so from here to here is the actual key which you're playing in. And then if you hit this one down here, it will play just the single note.
just hold that down and it will solo those strings instead of playing the um, chords like I was just doing. It has a built-in legato, built-in yeah, all those details like the um, the fingers sliding over the strings and everything. It's incredibly realistic. You know, it actually sounds a bit more, you know, um, European there when you, depending on what key, or excuse me, what scales you play in and stuff. Um, so, you know, the default mode is that it latches onto the chords. You adjust the key down here with the key switches for what your bass notes and what those drone chords are going to play. Now, of course, there was the strummer function. So for that one, legato notes are single there. So you can tell there, when the legato notes are playing up higher, when it says single, obviously the um, chord is droning there, and then the single notes higher up on the higher strings are all playing singularly by themselves. You can hear legato, but sometimes the notes can kind of get drowned out. So you enable the chord here, and you get a fresh attack on each one of those chords when the um, plays a new note on the higher strings. Um, everything is really, really customizable, which is pretty incredible. Now here, string selection goes from auto to manual. So the dulcimer has three strings and here if you have it on manual it will latch on and you adjust down here. As you notice I'm playing those key switches. It enables, it enables a different range on the keys here which switch to blue. So that is in manual selection. You will ad adjust and pick which string is actually going to play those notes. So this is why that um, latch function for enabling and disabling which string is actually going to play is a bit important. So here, I'm going to go between those two strings. You can play the same note up here on the bottom string. But you can hear it has a much less um, bright sound. Sorry, I keep putting my hand in the way of the camera there. You can tell that a, a string is a lot brighter, so that's why that's an important function. If you have it set to auto, it's going to just automatically play what would seem normal for a player. Instead of going, because that's a bit harder to do. So I would really like to thank Cletus for leaving his Fender Telecaster here so I could actually demonstrate that for you all. Now let's take a look at the second pattern, which is a lot more beautiful and less country.
So that second layer I had playing just the single notes. So there I'm in manual mode and I have it just on the A string. So you hear one of those notes cut off because the A string is not capable of playing it. But it also had an overall brighter sound. You hear the higher strings are even brighter. So of course it's, if you don't know, if you don't want to mess with which string is playing, um, just set it to auto and it'll automatically take care of that. That, that instrument is absolutely beautiful. Um, instant vibe of those southern Appalachian roots, true bluegrass music. Um, it can be country, it can be incredibly beautiful, like that um, chord progression I just played. Um, anyway, I love this instrument. I love um, roots music as a whole, so it is right up my alley, which is why I love it so much. But it is an exceptional quality instrument. I have never heard anything less from the folks over at Embertone and also their manuals are, are some of the best they're really funny they're packed with character so um, I guarantee if you are into this sort of thing this is one of the best if not the best mountain dulcimer you can get for contact by far um, so that was a little bit about it. I hope you enjoyed the demo tracks. I showed a little bit of the features. Obviously, the manual is going to go into a little bit more in depth. But as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Um, we want to hear from you as always. So once again, Brian with Audio Plugin Deals and my friend Cletus, thanks for watching. <laughs>